is actually a student crocodile wrangler and we're teaching him how to properly catch American crocodiles so that we have somebody here to help us and he's still learning and um, so I'm going to teach him right now the proper measurements that we take on these animals. This is scientific data that's collected. It's pretty much international data that's collected so that other scientists can use this data as well. If I can find my pen. We got tags, tape measure, calibers for the tagging, and okay. Alright, so what time you got? Yeah, um, we got time? Quarter to ten, nine forty-five. Thanks. We just caught this croc less than ten minutes yeah. ago, and it's an American crocodile. I can tell this right off the bat by looking at the length of the snout and the preorbital hump. There's a hump right in front of its eyes here. That's species specific to the American crocodiles. Um, there's only two species here in Belize. You have the American crocodiles and the Morelets freshwater croc. You won't find the Morelets out here. Um, this is pretty much brackish water. These animals are able to excrete salt, the American crocodiles are, through their tongue and through their feces. This is uh, Crocodilus acutus. They can reach lengths of up to 20 feet, and um, they're a threatened species throughout their entire range. It just seems like there's a lot of them here because worldwide, this is the highest concentration they believe of crocodiles. So what ACE's American Crocodile Education Sanctuary is trying to do is do a population study on these animals here on the island. Um, so Chris, I'm going to have you write the data as well so that you get it. So the first measurement that we take is a snout length. Now typically calipers are used for some of these measurements for better accuracy, but we don't. All of our gear was burnt in fire. <laughs> so the first thing we got to do is find the preorbital hump here, and I taped that pretty tight. So, did you get your pocket knife on you? Mm -hmm. back a little bit so we can see the eyes. <laughs> it's all times for me to tape it so well. Right? <laughs> Try the other one. I don't want the sharper. Oh yeah, with the white take this off for now. The reason we blindfold them is because it calms them down. But for right now, I'm just going to kind of slip this back. Okay. First measurement we're going to take is the snout length, and it's from the very tip of the center of the snout to an area directly across from the corner of the eye. And we've got 22.2 centimeters, and that's snout length, so you just write SL. 22.2? Yep. Centimeters. So that's SL snout length. Uh -huh. Snout head length is from the tip of the snout to the exterior um, posterior portion of the cranial plate, and that's 32 centimeters. Okay, cover that guy's eyes back up. Then we're going to do a total length. Normally it's taken by laying the tape measure underneath the animal. On larger animals it's a bit difficult, but this one's pretty pretty small so we can do it. So we're, of course we're just going to slide this tape measure underneath the animal, so you might have to just roll it forward just a bit, not the whole way over. And then go ahead and take the tape measure down for me. And you might have to make a mark before you reach the tail, I'm not sure. Make sure the tail's straight. Uh, uh, 206 centimeters? Yeah. That's total length? Yeah. 206 yeah. centimeters right on. Yeah, it's dead on. Okay. Flip it over real quick because I can't do the math in my head and give us inches. Uh, uh, since you're right there. So we can down to 81. So what feet would that be? I'm not good at math. Okay, are you ready? 
Yeah, we're going to flip it. We're going to take a couple more measurements and sex the animal. Not fighting too much. Okay, we're going to do a snout vent length. And we take an anterior and a posterior. You're going to have to cut that deck tape loose. <laughs> Just a little bit right through here. Get that knife. It's real gentle. The blade up. Good job. A little bit more. Vince is great. Tape and drop. That's perfect. Maybe a little bit right here on this side. It's good to have this part open anyways. You don't want to tape over the cloaca because it's where they extrude. See, you can see he's already screwed a little bit. Okay. Alright, so. From the tip of the mouth, this is not bent like the anterior. Right to the anterior entrance of down. the cloaca. Yes, please. Right, SVLA, and it's 107.4. 107.4. And posterior is 111. Uh, just PT? Yeah, just... 111? Actually, SVLP for posterior. SVLP. Is that 111 exact? Yep. Then to sex the animal. An animal of this size is not quite sexually mature yet, and this species, maybe they usually um, reach their sexual maturity by size around seven or eight feet, so it can be a little difficult when you slide your finger in, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, this is a female. You're going to feel, it's called a clitoral penis, mm -hmm. and you're just going to feel a tiny little knob right in front of your finger, mm -hmm. right there. If it was a male, of course, you're going to feel a long, hard, mm -hmm. firm ridge. Okay, so this is Chris's first. Wipe the sand off, please. <laughs> Hello? Good. A little KY. Whoa. Hello? A little KY. Make this quick, honey. Okay. And hers is pretty close, right? You're going to feel it right off of that right there. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Cool. Female. Cool. Okay, we're going to roll her back over. Do you over. want to tie this? No, let's just leave this open because it looks like she needs to defecate a little okay. bit. So for now, we'll just leave this since she's being pretty calm. She pretty much wore herself out. Yeah, trying to get out. Yeah, and we're just going to let her be and go see if we yeah. can't get the other one. Okay. Good job. Thank you. So where yeah, is um, that's where we're standing. Deidre? She gets to name her. <laughs> yeah, this one's yeah. a little girl. Little lady. 